compared to Vlad's 500 push-ups. It's worse than that, even. How are we going to do all that and practice our kata over and over for three hours? Duh. I will look into it personally. It's the children, Principal Sama. They have been acting very strangely. They made a complete mess of my classroom. Yes, yes, I see what you're saying. And while I'm doing that, why don't you three take the next couple of days off? A, a, a little, a little vacation time. Paid vacation time. Paid vacation time. Yes? Okay, no questions asked. Good luck. Bye now. The principal offers paid vacation days. Take them, trust me. A wise man never spits a gift monkey in the eye. Or something like that. Hey, Jimmy. You asleep? Are you kidding me? There's no way I can sleep with some crazy demon on the loose. That demon is making a mess of the school everywhere. Yeah, usually that's our job, and the cleaning lady usually cleans it all up. The cleaning lady? I haven't seen her all day. You don't think... Well, maybe. If I was a crazed demon bent on messing up the place, the first person I'd get rid of would be the cleaning lady. <gasps> Who was what? that? We better check it out. Make sure everyone's okay. Man, it, it's pro probably nothing, right? He got them all. They're all gone. <gasps> Kuni. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? I'm glad it's you. Sugoi. I can't find anybody. Same here. That nasty demon must have gotten them. <gasps> Is the demon out there? I agree. Jimmy eyes on Okuni. Get in here and hide. We hear noises. No. I think we should check it out. It's your funeral. Shh. We need more help. We should get the other teachers. Oh, I can't. I sent them away on a few days of paid vacation. Until we sort this out. Oh, this is my problem. I will be the one to fix it. Then why am I here? Because I need your help, old friend. <laughs> Principal Sam. <laughs> yes? Tell me again why I'm here. Just us, Principal Sama. Sir, what's happening? What's going on? Nothing, Aizen. N nothing at all. But. Ow! Please, you and your children return to bed. Nothing out right now. Well, after having seen this, I think there's only one thing we can do. Go on vacation? No, Jimmy. It's time to get to the bottom of this. And I think I know just who we should ask. Been big. 
busy, and I'm supposed to clean up. Impossible. No! Oh, it's only you kids. Zumikido-san, we were really hoping you would tell us just what the heck is going on around here. Yeah, what's up with this demon? And what can we do to help? I can't tell you kids anything. I'm under strict orders from Principal Sama not to say anything about it to anyone. But three smart students of ninjutsu might find all the answers they need uh, in the library. Great! Studying! Great! Studying! You see, Principal Sama, this has all happened before. It all started 40 years ago with the great toilet brush embargo of 65. The demon first appeared when toilets went uncleaned for weeks. And look, then, during the great cleaning fluid shortage of 77, people lined up for blocks just to get one gallon of cleaning fluid. The demon appeared then and the cleaning lady disappeared again. It's somehow connected to the cleaning lady going missing. <laughs> Look, sir. Wait, there's one more. The great vacuum cleaner repairman strike of summer of 89. We checked everywhere, Principal Sama. The cleaning lady is missing right now. She is somehow connected to the demon, isn't she, sir? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I can't take it anymore. Oh, you deserve to know the truth. The, the, the cleaning lady is the demon, and it's all my fault. I didn't know this would happen. I, I, oh, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Tell them what you did, sir. I bought the cheapest cleaning fluid, and, well, not only that, but I... Oh, I can't bear to say it. I... I watered it down. Ah! Ah! I don't get it. What's the big deal? Cleaning fluid is cleaning fluid, right? Wrong, young Jimmy. The cleaning lady takes pride in her work. Great pride. She is an angel of cleaning. But when she cannot clean, the cleaning lady becomes a demon, only wanting to make a mess everywhere she goes. Now we can only wait. Wait for her to calm down and be more herself. Sounds good to me. How long would that take? A month or eight. I give it take a few years. <laughs> the school is a total mess inside and out. I don't think we can wait a few years. Hmm. I know just what to do. We need to go shopping. Great shopping. Great shopping! <laughs> Make sure the cleaning fluid is the best. The best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, the trap is set. Now all we need is the cleaning lady. Come on, we gotta lead her here. Clean just enough. Enough for what? <laughs> That. Is there another part to this plan that I'm missing? The run part? Good, because I like the run part. But use wall running. It'll be easier to clean. She's right behind us! Ma'am? 
part of the plan. Bubbles! I tell you, ha! Get a hold of yourself, man. Bubbles. We need more bubbles. She's making a break for it. We have to stop her. I'm on it. It's a brand new toilet brush. Look at the toilet brush. Look. Raise it all its clean and untouched toilet brushness. Never used. Not even once. Clean, shiny clean. Clean you enough to eat with. with. Eyes on. We've got bubbles. Full bubbles. Take it. It's for you. That's it. Take it. Oh, brand new. Oh, oh, this place is a total mess. Oh, I'd better get to work. Well, that was a job well done. Thank you for your help. Now, I think it's time for some well-deserved sleep. <sighs> Hello. Uh, yes. I'm calling to know when my order for cleaning fluid will be delivered. We'll soon be short of it. Uh, oh, delivery stuff on strike! Uh, uh, wait! Looks like Miss Betty got another shipment of fabric. Uh, uh, 38 new fabrics. I hope I can decide on curtains to match my sofa. This is your fifth shipment. Maybe you should try window shades. I think pink cushions would go wonderfully with green mm. drapes. Why, yes! Hey, cushions? Hey, we're bank robbers. We're not pillow makers. Oh, Mr. Peabody, hmm? would you allow Avril to help me with my curtains this evening? <laughs> Miss Betty has a key to the prison gate. Uh, Tonight, oh. you get a hold of it and bring it here and adios. How's he supposed to find a key? Huh? Duh, I asked her for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Joe, you'll never pass yourself off as me. Ignatius! Oh, the gingerbread thief has returned! It's a curse. He's stolen the children's dessert. Huh? <laughs> maybe, maybe he's still wandering around the camp. Do not worry, Beryl. I won't let that monster spread terror throughout our camp. Hmm? A monster? What are you talking about? Its name is the Grumpy Moaner. He is a creature that haunts the forest and devours gingerbread. He must be miles away by now. There's no reason to be scared. And still, we can't let him eat all our gingerbread and not do anything about it. Tomorrow morning, we're going to go on the Grumpy Moaner hunt. Yahoo! Who's going to volunteer for this wonderful adventure? Hmm? How about Lisa's table for a change? It's all a big lie. Ignatius made it up so he could eat all the gingerbread without us knowing. But what if there really was a monster, big and hairy, with lots of sharp teeth? Think about it, an elusive creature that haunts the forest? Mm -hmm. And whose gluttony is legendary? Doesn't that ring a bell? Of course, the grumpy moaner. That must be what the adults call the floopaloo. <gasps> <gasps> There's no way we can lead Ignatius to him. Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. 
You are a true actress, Beryl. The kids didn't suspect a thing. Oh, Ignatius, what a flatterer you are. You're not bad yourself. You should be in the movies. Ahem, it's true. I do have a little je ne sais quoi talent, perhaps. <laughs> <clears throat> um, what is in that box? Ah, uh, well, those. Those are the grumpy Mona's boots. Not too bad, if I might say so. Very impressive. You're really talented with your hands. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> uh, Annette, it's hmm? your turn now. Uh, I'm going to be the grumpy moaner? But of course, you were made for the role. <laughs> we're going to be a big hit. Listen, don't scare them too much, okay? Do not worry, we're professionals. <laughs> Boy, are we going to have fun. <laughs> Time to get up! <laughs> right, so let the grumpy Mona hunt begin. Oh, look over there. Gingerbread. <laughs> the Mona has come this way. Uh, what are you doing? We're uh, going to eat breakfast. It's supposed to be the most important meal of the day. But what about the uh, all the clues for the grumpy <laughs> Mona? <laughs> the big mystery? <laughs> hey, look. Scary monster claw marks. <laughs> Well, I guess being a grumpy moaner isn't that difficult. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <sighs> At least I'm headed in the right direction. <laughs> Are you hungry? Look what I've got for you, little guy. Come on, come here. Come on, it's food. Oh, <sighs> that's my compass. Be careful, I need that tool. <laughs> hey! Could someone help me sort out my cereal? I don't really like raisins. I would love to, cousin. Oh, my heavens! Where is Annette? I bet she was kidnapped and taken by the grumpy Mona. Oh, how terrible! Oh, what a tragedy! But why would the Floopaloo kidnap Annette? Wait a sec. That's not a style. Save her, Ignatius! I have to stay here and guard the camp. At your orders, Madame Director. If we move, we're likely to lead Ignatius to the Floopaloo. We have to take the risk. Annette may really need our help. Ignatius, hang in there! We're on our way! <laughs> Coming! Here, little guy. Here, little guy. Hmm. Oh. My compass! Just great. So what am I going to do now? Come on. Hang in there, girl. I can get my directions from the sun. Oh. Well, uh... Maybe I'll try this way. <gasps> ah! <sighs> Luckily, that branch was able to... Ah! the monster. And over there, paw prints. Oh, let's go. His story about a kidnapping really doesn't sound like the floopaloo. Actually, it's maybe my fault. Well, yeah. Yesterday, Annette forced me to wash my feet. And it made me so angry that for a microsecond, I wished that she would disappear. <gasps> and the floopaloo granted your wish! That's nonsense. If the floopaloo took Annette somewhere, he surely had a good reason hey to... Hey, all I think that Squeak has found something. Right. 
So I'm just fine. Everything is under control. Those are my great uncle's the slippers. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for them. Well, in the meantime, we still haven't found a net. Come on, kids, get searching. Oh, now that wasn't part of the plan. Ignatius seems. Oh, well, yeah, like always. Hey, check it out! I found Annette's compass! Well, I hope she's not in the same state. <laughs> All that gingerbread has surely made the Floopaloo go crazy. He must be wandering through the forest looking for his next victim. That's nonsense. The Floopaloo isn't a monster. Right, Matt? Yeah, but this is all pretty weird. What's that? Is that you, Annette? <laughs> Mommy, the more. And besides, you don't have any proof. <laughs> the more. What's wrong, Ignatius? The grumpy Mona. The grumpy Mona exists. At the beginning, it was all a joke, but actually, it's true. Oh dear, oh dear, poor Annette. Uh, I see now. The whole thing was a big lie. Yes, it was all my fault. The grumpy Mona has taken revenge because Annette was faking his paw prints. Oh, 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 how horrible. Exactly. Oh, 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 he was here, and enormous, and nasty, and... And, and, and of course he's disappeared. Hmm? Hmm? Well, well. Look, more strawberries. Hmm? They taste like gingerbread. You're right, that's incredible. And these blueberries have a funny taste, too. Uh, Brian, those are rabbit droppings. Mm. <laughs> no doubt that's a message from the Floopaloo. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? No idea. It looks like a... <gasps> Everything's fine. Oh, finally! Thank you, children! Did you see it? Huh? Tell me you saw it! Uh, peace? Kim's over, Ignatius. The grumpy Mona! <laughs> There's your scary monster, Ignatius. <laughs> Oh, it's just a raccoon. <laughs> really fooled you all, eh? Yeah, sure, we believe you. It was just a spice of power treasure hunt. But I see none of you fell for it. Good. Very good. W well, I hate to spoil our fun, but it's time to go back to camp. Beryl is going to start worrying. <laughs> Charming little raccoon. Hmm, my, 
say the strawberries are good this <gasps> year. They have a little aftertaste of gingerbread. Quite nice. Thank, Thank you, you for the love. Order to ten. Yep. All tests have come back positive, Hubert. You are in love with me. How in the world did I catch it? It doesn't make sense. Maybe it was the sushi we ate. It didn't look too fresh. Or I got bit by an infected pony. Forget about it. Love hits you without warning like a two-ton freezer falling out of the sky. I think I would have remembered a freezer falling on my head. Still, when I tell my girlfriends, they are never going to believe this. Nobody can find out! It's confidential! <laughs> Hubert's residence. Hey there, lovebirds! We got your text message. It's great! So when's the wedding? We gotta go buy our dresses! I'll call you back, girls! It's a bad connection! I'm gonna... Hey, don't panic. Just try and think of some other girl. Another girl? But who? Jennifer! <laughs> Hello, Hubert. <laughs> Hello, Jennifer! Forget it. She'll never want me. Trust me, pal. I'm an expert in love. Testing, testing, one, two. Agent Hubert, seven, eight, nine, five, six, four. Do you read me? Loud and clear! Target in sight. Go, go, go! Hello, Hubert. Perfect. Now you repeat after me. Me too, I'm a fan of parachuting. What a coincidence. We're, uh, made for each other. <clears throat> what awful weather. What would you say to a strawberry shake at my place? Okay. Yeah! Champion of the world! Go, 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 go. What a twit Jennifer is. I can't believe it worked. It's good news for us, baby. I am not your baby. Capiche? Thank you. <laughs> Want to know what I love about you? Those hairy little feet of yours. Those hairy little feet of yours. Uh, that's sweet, I think. Hubert, before we go any further, there's something I would like to ask you. Hey, oh, wake up! Something important's going on! It's about that little fly. Are you two going out or what? Get serious, Jennifer. Can you imagine me with a, a fly? <laughs> Why not a sea urchin? <laughs> no, 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 no. I like real women like you. Way, honey, don't you think to cock the tiles in the bathroom? Jennifer! Sorry I didn't see you. How silly of me. I tend to overlook invisible people. But I was under the impression... Mm -hmm. What? Ahem. <clears throat> Thanks, Takako. I've got the situation under control. <laughs> what are you still doing here? I thought you were cocking the bathroom tiles. I gotta run. I'm gonna be late for a swimming lesson. I'll come with you. Be a bit sensible, hon. With your planter warts, you really shouldn't go swimming. Ooh. Toodaloo! You're in love with me and never said a thing! I bet it was really you who infected me! Nonsense! It was that bimbo who just dissed me. I'm not little at all. My measurements are perfectly in proportion. 
portion. Listen, you're gonna have to decide. Are you in love with Hubert or with me? I will never go out with you. Hey, you're sweet, but you're just not my type. Do you understand now, or do I have to spell it out for you? It's not the end of the world. Some flies really like big, fat pigs, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi lovebirds! Oh, I see Hubert's already chosen his best man. They don't waste time, huh? What's it like being in love for real? It's like rainbow colored cauliflowers were burning with a thousand candles in the ozone of my heart. It's like soaring high over a field of lavender and turkey sausage flavored toffee candy. Phew! Huh. What, what a, a relief. relief. We're, we're not, not in love, in love after, after all. all. to tell me? No. Uh -huh. I get so worried about him. Uh -huh. And now she wants kids. And I don't really think I'm ready. It's too soon. We won't have any time left for ourselves. She doesn't see that. Besides the cost of having a kid. It's your turn to do the dishes tonight. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow. Passes to Brute. Russell's clear for the take. And a great pass by Brute. Russell clears it back to Zabo. Zabo hurls to Mawas. Mawas is clear. He's clear. Mawas hoofs it and it's up. And it's sailing. And it's 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 I told you not to use that parking machine when we're trying to watch the game. Why don't you go and do some gardening, hmm? Go tend to your melons. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't want something nasty to happen to your melons, would you? And O'Jerry <gasps> is looking for an opening. He makes a pass to Humphreys. Humphreys is going for it! <laughs> Oh, humans and balls, go figure. <laughs> Hello, darling. And how are my beautiful melons today? <sighs> Meloni, how are you? Oh, you're really getting big, sweetheart. Your beautiful honey dear. Oh. Wha oh. What the? Charge! No. Charge! Ow! 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 Got you! I declare this planet mine in the name of the Federation! Where's the space probe, Captain? That way! There it is! Hurry, they're coming! Hey! It's a doll! It ain't! It's a Venusian spy! Wow! It really flies! Yeah! Okay, this droid is fixed. The Flavogian spring in the motor was corroded. A minor operation. <gasps> uh. 
If you're smart, you'll keep your mouth shut. That one's next. <gasps> Spinach kids are no TV. Mm. Mm. Say ah, Susie. Hey, save some room for me. Brats! <laughs> yes, I'm out of here. <gasps> Stupid cat. What's the matter, flea bag? You can't get me, can you? Stupid cat. <laughs> What's the matter, fish breath? You got a fur ball stuck in your throat? I've got your tongue. Mm. <laughs> oh, shoo. Ha, ugly fat cat. Thought you had me there, didn't you, fuzzhead? <laughs> Big bag of blubber. Good for nothing, yellow eyed mousetrap. Ha 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> oh, what a nice puddy cat. <laughs> the puddy wouldn't hurt the candy now, would he? <laughs> what are you looking at? Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Home, James. again. I just had the nightmare again. It's always the same. A giant cheese monster wants to eat me. Only now I'll be able to figure out what it means because I've invented the dream o vision Rapido? <coughs> Do you know what that means? That means I will now be able to delve into the subconscious world in my inner psyche and correct the very problem from which my nightmares stem from. And you, Rapido, will be the first one to witness this technological wonder at work. Ta -da! Behold, a state of the art diamond plasmatron giant screen! Now, what's this? <laughs> Great resolution! You see, I really am a genius. Hey! I just got a great idea! Let's go try out the system on the crew! Go easy on the cable! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> what, what a, a dorkhead dork that guy, guy is. is. <laughs> I realize now that maybe I take my nightmares too seriously. Well, I could have told you that a long time ago. Shrinking violet. Rapido, don't even think. Just one more little piece. Huh? No! The cheese is alive! It has a conscience. I saw its dreams. It's a higher life form! Poor defenseless cheesy. We'll make it all better. Don't worry, little cheeser. Hmm? Hmm. Well, his temperature is normal. This ought to do the trick. This is just like an incubator. It will help you get better. Now I know what those nightmares were about. It was a cry for help to stop eating the cheese. Oh, from now on, I'm going to be the protector of the cheeses. And they won't have any nightmares because the cheeses are my beloved friends. <laughs> He's lost his mind, huh? Locked? Nice try, Raz. Just a little further. Now oh, my arms are too short. Wait a second. The cheese hold. No one gets near the cheese. Give me the key right now, Razmo. No way. Hand over that key. Back off. Hey, that hurt. Rapido, your cheese-eating days are over because they're under my protection now. Under your protection? More like under house arrest. They're gonna suffocate in that tomb. Don't worry about my cheese friends. They're going to be well taken care of now. Hi, guys. <laughs> How's it going? You want to get some fresh air? How about you, little guy? You want to go topside for a little walk? Stretch your legs. Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Uh, don't worry, everyone will get their turn. There you go, little cheeser. Just breathe in that fresh ocean air. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> Back off, Cheese Hawk. As long as I'm around here, you won't be preying on innocent cheese anymore. Huh? Come back here this instant! <laughs> Open this door! You're evil. The keyhole won't keep him out forever. Fine! You think you can kick me out? <laughs> hmm. Wait a second. I've got it! I'm gonna set you free, my little yellow friend. Go forth and pave the way for all your brothers to follow! Goodbye! And good luck! And right if you learn how. Here I come! Quick, you're next! Freedom awaits! You're free! Don't forget about me! Oh my god, what 
was I thinking? I almost reverted back to my old ways. I meant to eat this apple. I'm almost dead. <laughs> He's coming. Soon you'll be free. Save an apple? <laughs> Run for your lives! Oh, I get it. This is all a scam. What? Oh no, what have I done? I've lost my mind. I was confused. It was a mistake. Nice try. No, Rapido, don't do it! <laughs> oh, boy! A worm? What a sight for sore eyes! <laughs> now I get it! <laughs> and you thought the cheese was alive. Sometimes I wonder about you. It wasn't the cheese dreaming, it was the worm! Oh, I'm glad I figured that out. Hang on, what are you trying to say? It's okay, we all suffer from delusions sometimes. It was oh, you who oh, thought! Oh, there, there, Rapido, oh, it's okay. Oh, 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 Wait a gold on second! Oh, 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 You're not gonna get away with this. <laughs> I, I can't talk with, with my mouth full. You've got some explaining to do. Rasmo, swallow that cheese and answer me! <laughs> I can't hear you. Rasmo! One of your mom's fancy tricks. Tom, hurry up. The two of us have things to talk about. Unless you want me to do the talking. No, no, I'm coming, Mom. Uh, and for Osha? Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain. <laughs> So we agree I'm picking you up after school. Uh, usually I'm the one who picks him up. Come, come, dearest. How can you go out with hands like that? While we're on the subject, I'd really appreciate having my own hands back. Oh, aren't they cute? I don't like hiding the truth from them. You really think I shouldn't say anything? Of course not!
the wild and dangerous jungle, our team of courageous explorers returns to join their base camp. Hmm? <laughs> <clears throat> Be careful, Malik. Thanks, but I saw that. <clears throat> Are you coming? Um, I'm coming. <clears throat> I want all that cleaned up before you come in. Oh, Ignatius, we've got a problem with a solar panel for the water heater. Well, say no more. Huh. I am the man for the job. Hmm? I certainly hope we understand each other. Oh, please be careful. I would never forgive myself if something happened to you. Oh, come now. I am still as agile as a squirrel and as strong as a bear. Oh, say, why don't we have our snacks now to get our strength back? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh boy, this stuff is ever a pain. Uh, Hey, guys! Children! Snack time! Yes! Super. Huh? <laughs> uh, hey! Whoa! So cool! Ah! Muesli with beetroot. This should give a kick to the most watched out amongst us. Whatever. It'll give you energy. Yuck! Malik is not here? No, and that worries me. Yeah, well, it shouldn't. I'm not a baby. I can handle myself. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy. Good. Now, when you've finished, I want you to wash your plates in this big basin of cold water. <laughs> we we'll wait for Ignatius to repair our solar panel. <laughs> This is a job for Spider Malik. <laughs> you just wait and see if I'm wiped out. Yes! Sorry. Huh? Sorry, sir. Puh. Kids have no respect any longer. But Ignatius, you managed to fix the solar panel? Why, that's fantastic. Mm. Um, yes, yes, indeed. But actually, it was um, really, uh, really child's play, you know. Well, that's good news, because you need to change the light bulbs in the dining hall, repair the lawnmower, strip the bedroom floor, glue the big vase, and the propeller on the windmill that needs oiling. Hmm. This is weird. Frats, fred apples, resin. Resin is a very precious substance that the flupaloo uses in order to glue the leaves onto the trees. Whoa, what a scoop. The flupaloo loves making collages. Do you think he also likes noodle necklaces and seashell paperweights? <laughs> huh? Lisa, quick, check this out. Huh? That's wild! The floor in my bedroom needs stripping. My big face needs to be re-glued. The windmill propeller needs repairing. Well, now then, as if this were going to be... 
It turns just fine. What in the world is he doing? You were so quick! <laughs> but of course! Absolutely! <laughs> At your service! <laughs> Malik! You scared us out of our wits, but you totally ruled. So how'd so you, how'd get, you the get, resin? get the resin? Sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. We're talking about this! Mm, okay. I'm going to tell you everything. This amazing resin just wouldn't let go of me. It's always underfoot. I said bye-bye to clumsiness. I became a super acrobat. You know, I think the three of us would make an awesome trio. Super Matt, Wonder Lisa, and Magic Malik. I would have loved to team up with you guys, but I don't have any more resin. Aw, rats, that's such a bummer. Wait a sec. All we have to do is get some from the forest. For sure. Let's go get some of those floop blue resin superpowers. You coming, Malik? <laughs> Uh, um, um, do you mind waiting while I go get another pair of shoes? There! Oh, no! As dry as bone! Oh, well, I guess our superhero trio is already history. Wait a sec! Mm do you hear that glub glub sound? Huh? Wow! Yes! And we can start being acrobats again! Woohoo! <sighs> I just messed up. <laughs> huh? What the? But why are all the leaves falling? The resin? The leaves! It was written in the notebook! The Flu-Flu uses the resin to glue on the leaves! No! When it said leaves, it wasn't leaves of paper. It was real leaves from trees. I don't believe it. Uh, we've just emptied out the whole stock of resin for the summer. The reserve is in fall mode now. It's the... the floopaloo. Um, I'm afraid it is. It's all my fault. Leave me here. I'm going to explain it to him. Are you nuts? We're a team. We stay together. Even if we've messed things up for good. Actually, I think we may be in luck. But we'll have to hurry. <laughs> Oh, Ignatius, I still have this base to glue back together. Well, you can count on me. Puzzles are my passion. <laughs> ah! Ah, ah, ah. What kind of manners are those coming in without knocking? What are you up to now? Uh, I just wanted to know if... if you were born with uh, your mustache, or did it come later? Uh, what? No, serious. Thank you. That's exactly the answer I was waiting for. But now that you've mentioned it, was I bored with a mustache? We can't stick around. I hope she knows what she's doing. 
second. I just want one photo. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Good move, Super Cousin. Uh, I couldn't have done anything without Superman and Magic Malik. And Wonder Squeak, of course. Is it just me or do we really sound stupid with these clothes pins on our noses? Whoa! <gasps> oh, awesome. Photo of Floopaloo under a pile of leaves. A fat lot of good that does. In any case, he seemed furious, so this may not be the best time to try and meet him. Exactly, you thief. Uh, Give me back my glue. I need it. I absolutely have to finish gluing this vase, otherwise... Is there a problem, boys? Mm, absolutely not. This is just a little man-to-man -man talk. <laughs> Ignatius was telling me that he had just finished gluing your vase. Huh? But no. Well, quite the contrary. Oh. Oh, don't be so modest. I am certain that you did a marvelous job. No! Don't go in there! <gasps> well, well, it's perfect as always. Why are you looking so sad, Ignatius? But the, uh, uh, well, it, it, it's just because I finished all the chores you asked me to do. I am disheartened because there is nothing left. You're just too much, Ignatius. You're always overworking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Your work's not quite over yet. Forget it, it's a mortal wound. I shall take leave of this world and stare death in the eye. Whatever. Hey, you're supposed to be sad! Miraculous! He's risen from the dead! Fine, but it's not pretty. Be warned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it serious, Doctor? The mark of a vampire. Were you bitten by a bat, is that it? Do you feel like your teeth are growing at all? Are you staring at my throat? Do you prefer it darker? How about a nice blood smoothie to cheer you up? Yuck! Hey, that's disgusting! That's true, it was beet juice. Come on, chop this baby in half. Superhuman strength plus a complete lack of remorse. Fascinating. <laughs> the test results are conclusive, Hubert. You've become a vampire. You better leave before it's too late. Pretty soon I won't be able to control the beast in me. Are you nuts? Things are just getting fun. Do not be foolish. Do you think it's fun wearing elegant suits, being immortal and possessing demonic powers? Yeah. Come on, let's do this already. Just a quick bite. I want to become one too. No. What humanity I have left forbids me from inflicting that on you. Forget it, I'm the vampire. Well, then get to work and bite me. No, I am a sensitive, kind, and gentle vampire. And a wuss. I heard that. Hubert, dinner time! Ha! 
coming. Vampires don't fly. Now you tell me. Yeah. What is your problem, huh? I'm a vegetarian. A vegetarian vampire? How embarrassing! You say that because you've never seen me attack a defenseless piece of lettuce before! <laughs> Ghosts are the ones who walk through walls, not vampires. I'm having an issue grasping the scope of my powers. You can say that again, partner. A bat girlfriend of mine fixed me up. Hey, that's cheating. Hey, cool it. You afraid of competition or what? <sighs> You're such a novice at this. And your fangs are old, Grandpa. It's a new generation. How rude. You will now suffer the supreme punishment, the fatal bite of the vampire. <laughs> That's great. Gave me goosebumps. <laughs> what strength! I'm so impressed. And you've seen nothing yet! Forces of evil, destroy this door! The door's open. <laughs> now let that be a lesson to you. One must show respect to a more experienced vampire. Ah! You lied to me. You were wearing fangs made of plastic. Just so you could get me to bite you so you could become a real vampire like me. Drop it. I apologize. Are you going to drag this out for all eternity? I might forgive you in a few hundred years. Just enough time for me to get ready. The vampire look is too cool. Hey, what a ripoff. Real vampires don't have a reflection. Well, maybe the really handsome ones are allowed to. Ah, no, not that! Not that! Baker. I have to admit, it might be my fault that you got carried away with this whole vampire thing. No, sometimes I just overreact. Trick or treat, mister! Yes! yes! Vampires, vampires really do exist! exist. I just had the nightmare again. It's always the same. A giant cheese monster wants to eat me. Only now I'll be able to figure out what it means because I've invented the dream o vision. Rapido. Hmm. 
Do you know what that means? That means I will now be able to delve into the subconscious world of my inner psyche and correct the very problem from which my nightmares stem from. And you, Rapido, will be the first one to witness this technological wonder at work. Ta -da! Behold, a state-of-the-art diamond plasmatron giant screen! Now, watch this! <laughs> Great resolution! You see, I really am a genius. Hey, I just got a great idea! Let's go try out the system on the crew. Go easy on the cable! take my nightmares too seriously. Well, I could have told you that a long time ago. Shrinking violet. Rapido, don't even think. Just one more little piece. Huh? No! The cheese is alive! It has a conscience. I saw its dreams. It's a higher life form. Poor defenseless cheesy. We'll make it all better. Don't worry, little cheeser. Hmm. Hmm. Well, his temperature is normal. This ought to do the trick. This is just like an incubator. It will help you get better. Now I know what those nightmares were about. It was a cry for help to stop eating the cheese. Oh, from now on, I'm going to be the protector of the cheeses. And they won't have any nightmares because the cheeses are my beloved friends. <laughs> He's lost his mind, huh? Locked? Nice try, Raz. Just a little further. Oh, my arms are too short. Wait a second. The cheese hold! No one gets near the cheese! Give me the key right now, Razmo! No way! Hand over that key! Back off! Hey! That hurt! 
Torpedo. Your cheese-eating days are over, because they're under my protection now! Under your protection? More like under house arrest. They're gonna suffocate in that tomb. Don't worry about my cheese, friends. They're going to be well taken care of now. Hi, guys. <laughs> How's it going? You want to get some fresh air? How about you, little guy? You want to go topside for a little walk? Stretch your legs. Uh, figuratively speaking, of course. Uh, don't worry, everyone will get their turn. There you go, little cheeser. Just breathe in that fresh ocean air. You're insane! <laughs> Back off, Cheese Hawk! As long as I'm around here, you won't be preying on innocent cheese anymore! Huh? Come back here this instant! <laughs> Open this door! You're evil! The keyhole won't keep him out forever. Fine! You think you can kick me out? <laughs> hmm. Wait a second. I've got it! I'm gonna set you free, my little yellow friend. Go forth and pave the way for all your brothers to follow! Goodbye! And good luck! And right if you learn how. Here I come! Quick, you're next! Freedom awaits! You're free! Don't forget about me! Oh my god, what was I thinking? I almost reverted back to my old ways! I meant to eat this apple! I'm almost dead! <laughs> He's coming! Soon you'll be free! Huh? Hold on! Did I just save an apple? <laughs> Run for your lives! Oh, I get it! This is all a scam! What? Oh no, what have I done? I've lost my mind! I was confused! It was a mistake! Nice try. No, Rapido, don't do it! Oh, boy! A worm? What a sight for sore eyes! I get it. <laughs> and you thought the cheese was alive. Sometimes I wonder about you. It wasn't the cheese dreaming, it was the worm. Oh, I'm glad I figured that out. Hang on, what are you trying to say? It's okay, we all suffer from delusions sometimes. It was oh, you who oh, thought. Oh, oh, there, there, Rapido, it's okay. Oh, oh. Wait a gold on second. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with this. <laughs> I, I can't talk with, with my mouth full. You've got some explaining to do. Rasmo, swallow that cheese and answer me! <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs>